to another exciting episode of the number one selling artist in the history of Belize. Please do go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you have not already subscribed to this YouTube channel. Smash the like button and make sure you do leave a comment and share this video. Let's get this message out into the world. Positive energy, juicy flow of good vibe. Let's get it on and get right into our next episode. Belize, sweet Belize, I love Belize, this is my Belize, Belize, sweet Belize, I love Belize, this is my Belize. There is so much more to being the number one selling artist in the history of the country of Belize than just being the number one selling artist in the history of Belize. You might need to pause this video so that that could really sink in, then press play again and continue so you can get the juice and the meat of what this episode is about. See, I am positive that there are some of you guys out there who do have a dream and do have some goals that you have set and there's somebody telling you that you will not be able to do that, you will not be able to achieve such goal and I want you to dig deep within yourself and to know that you have everything that it takes for you to accomplish everything that you're trying to do. Yes. You are going to face some challenges. You are going to have some hard times, but you can surely accomplish everything that you are trying to do right now, my friend. Start giving thanks for having all that's necessary and all that you need to achieve and accomplish everything you're trying to accomplish. So get on your knees and start giving thanks. How can I? because I need to, my life depends on it, not just my career. As I tell people, I never tried to be the number one selling artist in the history of Belize. That was the least thing on my mind. And even today, it really doesn't mean much to me. The only thing I value about it is the fact that I took the effort to go into the streets to promote my music when everybody was telling me, look, Belizeans do not support Belizean artists. They supported everybody else. And so I asked myself, how can I find a way for them to support me just as they would support every other Jamaican artist who is coming to Belize? Just as they would support everybody else who's not from Belize, who is putting forth the type of effort that I wanted to put forth. I know my people are loving people. I know my people are kind and considerate. They're friendly. They want to see us win. They might not want to see you win much more than they're winning, but at the same time, they want to somewhat see you win. So what I did, I packaged my CD on my own and I pressed up 10,000 copies of the first project and I decided to run through the streets with it with an unstoppable mentality that was not going to let me stop no matter how many no's i heard i was not going to give up this my friend is the type of attitude you have when you're going after your goals when you're going after your dreams you have to have it in your heart to just go after it as if your life depends on it Of course you're going to come across people who are not going to want to support you. They might be doing much worse than you. So you cannot get mad at them. You just got to look at it as there's over 6 billion people in the world and one person is telling you no. Go to the next so many billions of people that's left on the earth and find the ones who will tell you yes. There are billions of people that will tell you yes at whatever it is that you're trying to do. If you're passionate about it and you're trying hard enough. So get out there and try no matter what. This is how I ended up 
selling more than 215,000 CDs in a population that was less than 350,000 while everybody was saying, hey, burn, nobody listen to CDs. Nobody's going to buy CDs while I was making three to five hundred dollars a day at times making a thousand dollars a day selling CDs in the streets. I took that same drive and that same attitude and approached the tickets for my concerts and now you can see me on the stage doing what I'm doing. Performing, holding the microphone, blessing the audience with the truth through my lyrics, enjoying myself, having fun, living the dream, the dream that I so much wanted. Now I can teach others how to do it, create opportunities for them and inspire them and motivate them to be their best self because you were the ones who did that for me. You did that for me when you supported me. And now it is my burning desire to create opportunities and open the doors for others and teach them how to do just what I did. I know if I did it, you can do it. This episode of the number one selling artist in the history of Belize was brought to you by JBV. Make sure you go check out JBV. Hit him up on Instagram, hit him up on Facebook. Check him out, send him an inbox, get you some of this JBV merch. The guy has the hottest merchandise in Belize. This is a Belizean doing it from Belize, for Belize and the world. Make sure you support this young brother, JBV. Greatness is what we strive for. Unwavering confidence is an essential element to achieving that greatness. Confidence comes from the work. Swag. Well, that's so separate. You see, there are two types of people in this world. People that make excuses for why they aren't where they want to be in life. And then there are those that made the choice to just be victorious. It's rarely ever easy. It's not always fun. But as long as you commit yourself to being the best version of you, then it's inevitable for that greatness that you seek to become who you are. JBV. Please allow this generous congratulation to you for making it through another exciting episode of the number one selling artist in the history of Belize. Do go ahead, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button if you have not already subscribed, and do share this video. I look forward to seeing you on another episode of the number one selling artist in the history of Belize.